everybody. Welcome to the We Miss the Exit Spanish Grand Prix preview. Been two weeks already, can't believe it. Let's go over the last Grand Prix real quick, the Miami Grand Prix. Uh, I did not print out the results. Awesome. Uh, so, well, just to uh, go over it real quick, Verstappen started in second. Uh, Alonso, where am I? Okay, so, um, yeah, Verstappen started second. Uh, took the lead early, lap nine. Uh, Mercedes had a bad start. Uh, Alonso had a great start. A uh, late yellow flag uh, with Norris. Uh, Leclerc had a great late, uh, great late push. Um, love watching Leclerc and first half in battle. Uh, very fun to watch all these battles. These two uh, drive well together, respect each other, and you can see it while they're driving and battling out for a uh, position. Uh, it was, and these new cars, I, I think, are creating some great battles. We had three battles going at once. There's a battle going for first, a battle for third, and a battle for fifth all going on at the same time. Uh, it makes me wish that the cameras were able to do, um, or the television broadcast was able to do multiple battles, because they were only showing one battle at a time. Um, maybe get a little camera every now and then, but uh, it would be great if they had uh, multiple multiple cameras going at the same time, so you could watch all these um, battles all going at the same time. Uh, I think that would be a, a lot more fun to watch. Um my prediction was Big Schumacher, Schumacher finally get his points of the uh, first points of the career, uh, but I was wrong because he had a late mistake, ran right into the side of Verstappen. Both of them went out. Uh, kind of sucked because I, I really thought there he was going to get points, and um, that really sucked. I, I was hoping to get some points. And let's see here. Um. I hope the Miami Grand Prix they make some changes for next next year. Um, if it does in fact come back um, as is, as expected, um, it's fun to to watch a race. I, I like it a lot better than uh, Jeddah, which uh, some people are comparing it to. Jeddah is not a great track at all. Uh, Miami first time could use some uh, changes, and I, I think they'll get it done. I think it'll come back, and I think it'll be another great race next year. Um, my driver of the day was Albon. In the uh, Williams, he w started off 18th, ended up in 9th. Uh, great race from him. Obviously, he would have been a little bit lower if uh, Mick hadn't run into uh, Vettel. Uh, but uh, Albon, I think, had a great race overall, especially in that Williams, which uh, is pretty bad. His teammate doesn't have any points. Um, and uh, they are currently in last place with three points, uh, which leads us into the standings. Um, we have Leclerc still in first for, uh, in this Ferrari uh, with 104. Verstappen uh, closing in. He's in second, 20 points behind, or 19 points behind in the Red Bull. Uh, Perez is in third in the Red Bull. Uh, Russell continues to stay fourth in the Mercedes. Sainz uh, up in fifth uh, with 53 points. Hamilton in sixth with 36 points. Norris in seventh with 35. Botas in eighth with 30, Akon in 9th with 24, Magnussen in 10th with 15, Ricardo in 11th with 11 points, Sonoda in 10th, uh, sorry, in 12th with 10 points, Gasly in 13th with 6 points, Vettel in 14th with 4 points, Albon in 15th with 3 points, Alonso in 16th with 1 point, Stroll in 17th with 1 point, in uh, Guayu in 18th, with also with one point. Schumacher 19th with zero. And Latifi uh, in 21st with zero. Or 20th, I don't know if he's 21st or 20th now, but he has zero points. And uh, I'm not quite sure if he's going to score any points this season at all, because he's not a very great driver. Uh, I do think Mick Schumacher will eventually uh, score some points uh, in this race. The Constructors' Championships right now, uh, Ferrari stays in first with 57. Red Bull catching them, only six points behind in second. Uh, Mercedes in third with 95. McLaren in fourth with 46. Alfa Romeo in fifth with 31. Alpine in sixth with 26. Alfa Tori in 
Uh, seventh with 16th, Haas in eighth with 15, Aston Martin in ninth with six, and Williams in tenth with three. Uh, something's going on with the Alphatories. I thought they were going to be a little bit better this year, uh, especially considering Red Bulls fighting for second place. Um, if you watched the uh, qualifying today, uh, you would have uh, seen that Alphatory was apologizing to Gasly uh, for just not having a great car, not competitive. Um, it's great to see Sonoda doing some stuff with that car, but uh, there's definitely something wrong with the Alpine. Uh, with the Alphatori, they're behind Alpine. Uh, Alfa Romeo's have it seems to have a good car this year, but something's definitely wrong with the Alphatori. Um, something's also wrong with the Alpine. Um, they had a horrible qualifying as well. Let's get into that real quick. Uh, this is the track for tomorrow. Uh, the Spanish Grand Prix, Circuit of Barcelona. Uh, two DRS zones, speed trap. Um, it'll be interesting. To, uh, not a very good track for passing, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Maybe these new cars will make it a little bit better of a track for passing who knows um i really hope it does uh so starting off tomorrow the grid is uh leclerc edged out for seven leclerc took p1 verstappen p2 uh verstappen had to bail on his final qualifying lap he lost power uh for a short period and it would have been interesting to see if he would have been able to close that three tenths of a second gap um chances are he would have uh, but there's no way of knowing. But uh, Leclerc had a great lap, especially after spinning out uh, the lap before that. He, uh, th these two fighting each other, it's it's just great. Uh, I'm gonna say it all season long. Hopefully, um, watching these two get two battle uh, Leclerc and Verstappen, it's just great. Uh, Sainz ended up in third. Uh, Russell ended up in fourth. Perez fifth. Hamilton sixth. Bottas seventh. Magnussen eighth. Ricardo ninth. And Schumacher tenth. Schumacher um, was lucky to get in. Norris did out-qualify him, um, but his lap was taken away. Uh, a little bit of a controversy there uh, with Norris. I know they tried to fight it, but did unsuccessfully. Um, Mick uh, made it into uh, Q3 again. Uh, like I said, he's having a pretty good season. Uh, Magnussen, eighth, also putting in great laps. Uh, Botas qualifying behind uh, Hamilton and Russell, but it'll see. Inter be interesting to see um, what happens at the start of the race tomorrow. Uh, last race, Mercedes had a bad jump, and um, so it'll be interesting if Botas is able to move up with that jump. Uh, Alonso had a, a poor qualifying. Um, part of it, he uh, said, was the team's fault or his fault. Uh, he said internal, uh, not really getting the timing right for that. Um, he did get stuck in traffic on his, his last lap, and uh, I think he would have probably done pretty well and moved up to at least to Q2, um, but Alpine seems to be having issues with their car, uh, just like some of the other teams. Um, it'll be nice to see him to put in a great, uh, great race tomorrow in front of his home crowd, uh, but hopefully it's um, all the best. Um, Going over qualifying real quick on the other stuff, uh, the Green Red Bulls, also known as Aston Martin, um, they were all both out in Q1 despite huge changes to the car. Uh, cop, um, Red Bulls accused them of copying a lot of their car, who, and you know Aston Martin does have a history of doing such such a thing. Um, so who knows if they did or not? But uh, despite the many changes, uh, both out in Q1. Um, Alonso was out also in Q1, as I said. Uh, be nice to see if he could have a great race tomorrow in front of his home crowd. Um, and uh, Norris, again, um, should have been in Q3, uh, just missed out. Um, so he's, he's starting, um, I think, 11th. Uh, and I, I think, uh, let's go to my uh, predictions then. Um, so I do think Verstappen is going to win the race. Uh, I think Leclerc is going to get second, Ian Sainz is going to get third. Uh, didn't change a whole lot from the previous race. Uh, I did make similar predictions, um, but I do think uh, we will have uh, Verstappen, Leclerc, and Sainz uh, one, two, three. It'd be nice to see Sainz on the podium, um, Spanish Grand Prix, um, in front of his home crowd. I think that'd be great. Uh, Perez, I think, does get up to fourth. Um, that Red Bull still fast. Uh, Botas, I think, does get around Hamilton. Um, the Alfa Romeo uh, has been having a great year. Uh, I think Botas can do it as long as his pit uh, stops don't suffer him. 
Uh, Lewis Hamilton, uh, Mercedes did make some changes. That car has been fast all weekend. Uh, but again, I'm hoping Botas beats him out and gets to kind of rub it in his face. Uh, Ricardo, I think, is going to get seventh. I hope he has a great race. Magnussen, I think, is going to end up in eighth. Norris, ninth. Ian, I think, Schumacher, I'm going to predict it again. I'm uh, probably going to predict it every race until it happens. But I think he's going to get his first, first points of his career um, tomorrow. Uh, I do think it's going to happen. He's uh, learning a lot as he goes. I don't think he's going to have that crash again, which uh, did not come out of the points last race. Um, but yeah, those are my predictions. Um, Neil McLaren, Mercedes, Red Bull. Uh, we have some great fights in here. Um, obviously, uh, Ferrari and Red Bull up on top. But, um, you know, Mercedes, McLaren, Alfa Romeo, they're all in there. Um, you know, Haas is able to battle a little bit with the McLarens, not so much, but you know, they, uh, they're they doing pretty good. So uh, let me know what your predictions are for the race for tomorrow, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the show, and thanks for watching.